don't forget to click that subscribe and bell icon to receive a notification each time I upload a new video. Hi everyone, it's Mike here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I thought I would have another kind of collage play in my Mummigami journal. So I'm going to turn to the next page. Um, I found uh, a vintage, well an image of um, film actress Lily Palmer from the 1940s, late 1940s. I think this is a still from a film called Body and Soul. Um, 1949 there you go so yeah um, so I'm going to use her so what I thought I would do is delve into some of my packs of um, Tim Holtz um, ephemera so I've got the botanical one I've got the urban one and I've got what's left of my field notes set and I thought that I would just have a play today and just have a rifle through these and see whether or not I can come up with some kind of ad hoc composition um, like this where we can maybe just create a little bit of a, a collage we've got another one of those um, into the background and then we'll just see whether or not we can that's pretty. So it's literally just going to be a case of pulling stuff out. I didn't realise there were so many kind of like black and whitey ones in there that you could maybe colour in yourself. Um, maybe not use those right now, as soon as I've just found those. In fact, there's another one there of Rosses, another Rosses. Right, so let's try and use some of the colour ones. Let me just let me just throw some down on the page and just see where they land and let's just see what we can do with them. So should we have a butterfly in there as well? We will. It's in one of those ones there, look. Uh, maybe a bit big, maybe a bit small maybe. Little butterfly, you've got to have a butterfly in there, haven't you? Because it's the law. Uh, let's see, what's that? Not sure what flower that is, but it's got flowers in there. So that one there. There's another one of those ones, but that one's not damaged, so yeah, does it doesn't matter whether it's damaged or not. No, of course it doesn't. Uh, that one. Okay, I think for right now, let's have a look for another butterfly. It's that one down there. I know there's butterflies in other packs, but is that the same as that one that we'd already picked out? No. There we go, so there's two of those. So I'm not saying that I'm going to use all of that because there's quite a lot there. Excuse the glare from my light. Let's just see if there's anything in here that we could maybe use just in the background a little bit. What's that, like a library card. So that will blend quite nicely. What's that, a field label, that will blend quite nicely. So we've got a blank label there, so I think we'll use that. Is that another butterfly? Is that a different one? I think I like the colour of that one better. Be another flower there. Um, so we've got a couple of labelly bits. Let's just pop those away, then let's dip into the urban section, put those back in there. I have visions of this lot going over all over the floor in a minute. Right, let's see what's in the urban pack and see if there's anything that we could maybe throw in there. 
going to be circular. The die cutting on these is awful. Ooh, what's that? See what I mean about the die cutting? It's not even... We might have to just trim that out a little bit. So there's a couple of little circles there. And the strip of random numbers. So I think we'll have those. And what else is there? What does that say? Glass handle with care. I don't normally dip into this set all that often. Um, I don't know why, because there's some nice, a few nice bits. Do not crush. Yeah, I like that. But again, look at the die cutting on that. That's really bad. Really bad. Perishable. That's a handle with care. Yeah, again, look at the die cutting. Awful, absolutely awful. Right, I think we'll keep those. But I'm going to have to tidy those up a bit because they are absolutely just appalling. Absolutely appalling. Right, so we've got quite a bit. I'm not saying that I'm going to use every single bit um, of this, but I've got it out just in case. Let's pop those holes out. I think they were supposed to be in the middle. And then we'll just trim that off, trim those, and maybe just tidy that up a little bit. See, the stuff from the field notes is fine. They're die cut fine. Right, what did I do with those scissors? Oh, other side of the room. Here we go. So, perhaps, maybe, we might even be able to do all this in, in one take. So, it'll cut down on editing time as well. Let me just trim that off because that really is awful. Don't like it at all. Yeah. Right. My hand cutting out's not all that brilliant either. But that's better. And then just take that little bit of white off I know it's not going to be a perfectly round circle now but yeah, you can't really tell there and snip that bit of white off there okay I think we are ready to go Re ready to go so let's find let's find Lily so we've got all this All that. Right. Mm -mm -mm. So that's quite a large piece there. Look. So I think that can go in the background. So that can go there. I think what we'll do is we'll just start to build up. See, what helps these pages is the fact you've already got all that stuff going off in the background. So, even if you stick things down like that, it kind of blends, which is cool. Don't mind that at all. The fact that it is kind of blending into the background. So let's get those stuck down first. Right, so I've got a little um, precision tip here, and it's just filled with um, some of that um, spirit glue that might fit. That's going to get irritating, isn't it? It's going to get in the way. And, uh, put it on later. Right, so... As I was saying... So let's grab Lily again. And then let's stick that up there. Wait for the dial tone. Now that's fairly kind of shiny. I've used shiny stuff in the in the past in this book as well. I don't normally like shine. 
Um, but mm, actually that's not quite so shiny, is it? Right. I'm making a liar out of myself now. So I think... Yeah, let's stick it there. So I'm auditioning the pieces as I'm doing it. And again, I'm setting off no real kind of plan about what I want to do. I'm just seeing what the shapes and the images say to me while I'm sticking them down. There we go. And of course, um, a few questions about the Momigami journal, about the way or the page is drying out and getting stiff. No, as you can see, they're still quite subtle. Subtle. Supple, that's the word I'm looking for, supple. Right, I'm not going to stick Lily down just yet, so let's come back in with that large Yeah, think about there going through that piece So the film uh, that this is taken from, Body and Soul, was all about um, a boxer um, struggling with conscience and stuff, about trying to be successful, but also at the same time struggling with the morality of whether he should throw the fight or throw fights, fixing fights, that kind of thing. I believe. <laughs> right, so we've got some more floral pieces over here. So these, I'm not really sure what flowers that is, but I think I'm going to have that coming out from there. like that bit. I only read a quick synopsis of the film. So I may be completely wrong. In fact, don't listen to me at all. So we've got that one. So that's beginning to to kind of come together. So let's add in. In fact, let's add in that library card. Let's see if we can tuck that under. Uh, well, like a good, a little bit of um, tearing, don't we? I'm trying to find where my blending foam's gone. Oh, do you know, why is nothing ever where you put it down again? I've got at least half a touch, it's right there in front of me. Oh, good grief. I was going to blame Ian then, but I can't now, can I? I'm not going to go over the top with distress on these. Because I don't really think it needs it. So let's just put that under there. And I'm only putting enough glue on the collage so that it holds where I want it. Just there like that. And then let's have these numbers coming in. Right. It's good to break things up with 
kind of like random numbers and that kind of stuff. So I think we'll have that. Should we tuck it under? Yeah, let's tuck it under. So those kind of like number strips act almost like um, like washi tape. Haven't even got her stuck down yet. And again, it's just kind of it disappears into that background because you've got everything all that going on. It really is kind of busy, but busy in a good way because it kind of does um, allow things to kind of fit quite nicely. So we've got another flower here. I'm conscious that I also need to start breaking this up over this side. So those two there, and I think maybe if I snip that bit off. Again, die cutting is not wonderful on this bit, but we can cheat slightly. Half scissors will travel. There we go. So we could kind of stick that like that, which means as soon as we start sticking things over the top of the character, um, sorry, my light's just come undone. Then that kind of fixes her in place. So, which is fine. Um, right, field label. We said about sticking that in there somewhere, didn't we? So we've got numbers that side up there. stuck down now. Is it just that little bit? Yeah. Let's get some glue on that. I know it's there. All right, so let's get some glue back down just underneath where that leaf came up. So we'll stick that down there. This will keep. So, right, so let's get Lily stuck down. It's a great way to spend a rainy Saturday afternoon when there's A, no chores left to be done. The dogs have been walked. The laundry's in. There's nothing on the TV. Lunch is ready. So I'm pretty much at a loose end. Which is perfect. Let's lift that up there. Okay, Lily's down. Lily is down. So let's start sticking some of these flowers down then. So let's put that about there. And then we said we'd put that one just about there, just to cover that shoulder piece there. Okay. Just bring that down there. And then this piece, I think I'm going to cut those stems off. 
it then becomes more of a, a piece you can layer wherever you want to really if there's no stems because that way there's no real kind of indication as to what's up and what's down if there's no stems Actually, I think I prefer it that way. No, actually, let's do it that way. There we go. Like that. Right, butterflies. This one's okay. The die cutting's not bad on that one. And yes, I'm going to cut off the antenna because I'm not cutting around that. <laughs> I've said it many, many times before in the past, nobody got time for cutting out antenna. Oh, somebody at the door. Right, back in a moment. It was the postman. There's so much for doing it all in one take. So where was we? It was up to the butterfly, weren't we? So glue, a couple of parcels delivered. That required signatures, otherwise. <laughs> right. So I think I'm going to put that up there. Um, we've got this butterfly, so I wanted to trim that out. I've just had little four paw footprints coming up the stairs. So was that Bentley or Mr. Nip? Bentley. He's just gone and jumped onto the bed. The excitement of seeing the postman. Who normally takes, um, grabs one of his teddies and goes out to say hello to the postman. Our postman, um, it's called Carl, and he's got he's got two whippets as well. So he's always very pleased when Bentley goes out with a teddy. He always gives him a fuss. So. Of course, that set a precedent, so now Bentley has to go out and say hello to him every time. <laughs> Not that he minds. He's a really nice chap. So it's always good when you build up a bit of a rapport with your postman. It's, it's actually the longest postman we've had since we've been here. We had um, a younger chap to start off with and then he was moved on and you know, his route was changed round, that kind of thing. And then we went through a succession of about half a dozen different ones who only stayed like temporarily. Um, but Carl, we've had for I think it's nearly two years now. So, like I said, it is nice just to build up a little bit of a relationship. Right, I'm going to put that there. I know it's a bit twee, a bit cliched, putting a butterfly in a hair, but, you know, why not? Why not? Right, let's just try and tidy that handle with care. Right, I think I am going to put that down there, just because that then can become the title for the page.
handle with care. Now I do have this little label here. I think I think that's going to be too big, so I think I'm going to put that back again. So did that come from? It did come from the field notes, didn't it? So that can go back in there, and then there's these other pieces of the floral ones that we didn't use. So they can go back into the botanical, but I still want, I still want a kind of little label. So let's see if there's a smaller, ah, now then, what are those hiding at the back? Ha oh, perfect. All right, let's get one of those cut out. Lovely. Right, let's see if we can just trim that a little bit closer. Remember Tim did, he used to do some smaller ephemera snippets, I think they were called. Let's just get rid of those bits. Right, and I want to stick that stick that and that's going to go up here. And I'm just going to tuck that under up there because that's where I'm going to sign and date it. So let me pop that away. Now that's going to be a bit of a nightmare to keep that. Mind you, it's supposed to stay on there, isn't it, so that you don't lose it. Oh, but it's a bit irritating because it gets in the way. Ah, I'll tell you what I'll do. I've got a spare pin. Let's stick the pin in instead. That way we don't need it, do we? Right. <coughs> so. What's today's date? 29th. Oh, stick down, monster. Here we go. And then that becomes an integral part of the whole process. Just like that. So those bits there are kind of shiny, but you know, it is what it is. What I could do, that handle with care is a bit, <laughs> it's not very straight, is it? No giggling. All right. There we go. Yeah. See how it just kind of blends into that background without having to do hardly any work at all. So yeah, I'm happy with the way that little ad hoc collage has taken has, um, has formed. So I hope you've enjoyed watching me do it too. So if you have, please remember to give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. That's all from me for now. I'll see you all again very, very soon. I think that's one for Instagram. <laughs> Bye for now.
I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you, these videos would not be possible. And don't forget you can access your exclusive angel only content over on my website. There's a link in the description area below. Thank you.